lot of party here. Jim, your remittance transfers have been set up as requested. 15% of your contract payments will be paid out to you in the form of tea energy, since that has become the normal currency around the base. The rest of your earnings will be credited to the account on Earth you provided. Bada body out.
good. It's your job to keep Coronas fueled by finding these thermal pockets on your own, planting T-posts, and maintaining them when they're full. Harvest them regularly, and you'll be raking in the credits in no time. Got it, boss. I think this work is just my speed. And so it went for weeks and months until the extraordinary became commonplace. Dealing with the cold and wild life became the new routine. Intense is real, but routine. I kept my sanity and wits by not thinking too deeply about what I was seeing and doing. He got lonesome sometimes, out in the Badlands. But music and weekly messages from the missus kept me company. I was making great dough, getting choice contracts. That was the point after all. I made friends with the crew. They were a right good sort, those guys. Even LaRoche, for all his bluster, had his moments. For better or worse, I became Braddock's go-to guy. It had its benefits. But sometimes being the one to get the call meant you ended up in some Damn strange situations. <coughs> What's wrong? Plenty. <coughs> Harmonizers aren't a set of juice. The one time I want an acre to attack. <coughs> what was that? Something about getting the call. Yeah, right. Well, now you know how hard it is to communicate off world. In those days, Nivek had a workaround. An antenna relay on the highest heart. peak in the area, so we can call home to Mama with minimal storm interference. It's our lifeline. Two hours ago, we went offline, and we don't know why. We're effectively cut off from sending and receiving any off world communications. Uh, some acrid probably got his claws into it. So once again, you expect me to march out there and fight a horde of monsters in a rig without weapons, huh? Do you know how much of my income I waste on repairs? I want guns on my rig, a simple chain gun. My hands are tied. Nevek regulations. Yes, yes, don't weaponize the construction vehicles, but I mean in this but case... nothing. I'm not gonna jeopardize my operation because of your nerve deficit. It's called hazard pay for a reason. Oh, please. Hey, boss. Just nurse ComSat's offline. Yeah. Mind if I hustle down the relay station? Give her a gander? I was just talking to Mr. LaRoche about that very thing. Apparently he's got some concerns about making nice with the wildlife. Well, no, I don't want to just snake a man's contract. No, no, no. Take it. Get yourself killed. Not for at least double, I mean. Done. What? Be back by supper time. <laughs> No time to lose, Jim. Go check out the communications relay and report back. Chop, chop. Mr. Payton, this is Dr. Kovach. Can you read me? Loud and clear, Doc. Kinda told you, you can call me Jim. As you like, Mr. Jim. I was hoping you could pay me a visit in my lab, as your circumstances and logistics allow. Oh, and I believe I'm to mention that remuneration is involved. So you have a job for me? I believe I made that abundantly clear. Oh, abundantly. I'll drop by soon, Doc.
Welcome back. Good. That upgrade's a must in my book. The less you gotta reload, the better, eh? Gail got you rummaging around for scrap, huh? That ought to tone down your recoil quite a bit. She is around. What do we get to do today? Cool. I can literally do that one in minutes. Hang on. You were gonna dig that one. Doodles. Welcome back. Gail got you rummaging around for scrap, huh? See you later, Jim. Busting out the welding goggles. This one's simple. We take some raw metal. Always a pleasure, my man. up like a beanstalk.
needed something to take his mind off the cold, so I gave him my brother's guitar. If for never having taken any lessons, he's damn good. Listen. It ain't on account of his age. That's the joke, man. He's in his 40s. Guy's been so stressed out since he's been running this operation, he's put in a dozen years in a matter of months. Let that be a lesson to you, brother. Never forget, it's just the job. Easy for you to say. You're just a researcher. You could check out for a week, and it's not like the joint would come crashing down. Braddock's on all the time, because that's what we need. Hey, not for nothing. He takes it personal. Whole thing's his brainchild, you know? Not like he drew the short straw. He chose this place, made the plans, pitched Nevik on the whole deal. Sure, he's in good with him, practically family, but that doesn't mean his ass ain't on the line. And us with it. Right. I heard something about that special relationship with Nevik, they called it. Had something to do with his dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Papa Braddock was some big maca for Nevik back in the day. Whatever that means, look, the man was a hero, a legend. Made Nevik what it is today, so I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no need to slander the man. Let's be fair, he made Nevik what it was 40 years ago. The stuff they've been up there since, that's somebody else's fault. Oh, hey, Jim. Here to give us a shot to get even? Not today, fellas. Me and Gertie got rounds to make. Gertie? His rig. You know, like you named your Jim! Where it is you're close to beating LaRoche on the board. Ah, who's counting? About time someone punched a hole in that windbag. Don't apologize for doing us all a favor. months of rolling blackouts to fight record strains on the power grid, the president is attempting to tackle the national energy crisis head on. This morning, he unveiled a new energy bill promoting energy efficient homes and alternative energy production. Critics complain the bill is flimsy and does nothing to address the soaring energy prices across the globe. Meanwhile, the blackouts are severely disrupting the private sector across the country, and financial losses are mounting. Experts predict no end in sight for the recession, while on the horizon, a global energy crisis looms. For IBR, this is Suzanne Lee. idea how hard it is to keep a hot meal hot around here? Hell, we're still living off MREs. Look, if we want to build morale around here, let me build a hydroponic garden. I got two words for you, Jim. Heirloom tomatoes. Think about it. Stand by. Dr. Kovach never settles for mediocrity when greatness would do. 
His naysayers simply envy his talents, I think. Like Dr. Roman. She could achieve as much as Dr. Kovac if only she wants a... What is the word I'm looking for? Ethical. Can you imagine? questionnaire we all had to fill out before we came to this planet? How the hell did Kovac pass the personality screening? He must have cheated, right? I mean, have you spoken to the man? Every time I look at that enormous head of his, I imagine a little alien inside operating at controls. Or maybe a super intelligent lab rat. Exposure to the extreme cold reduces blood flow and constricts your blood vessels, reducing your circulatory system's overall volume and increasing your blood pressure. This causes your body to reduce fluid volume by getting rid of the excess water. Uh, so in other words... When you get cold, you want to pee. All right. Thanks for that. No problem. certainly had our issues, but I do wonder how she's doing out there. Living off base out in the white like a mountain man is a bit of an overreaction if you ask me, but she was never one for half measures. to adapt for survival, it would only take a couple of generations for an acrid to evolve into a distinctly different form. As you are undoubtedly aware, I've been tasked with rendering thermal energy a viable and cost-effective power source. Unfortunately, the tea energy from subterranean sources, while plentiful enough to run the Coronis installation, has a purity level entirely too weak for the audacious experiments we seek to conduct. So, the stuff we drill out of the ground, not pure enough for science. If paraphrasing me is critical to your comprehension, then yes. Now listen, the acrid. There are wild variances in their impurity index. Some are promisingly pure, potentially pure enough for our purposes. <laughs> I need a survey of local acrid, samples of their tea energy, in the hopes that we can find one with a pure enough composition. So you want me to kill acrid, basically? Mm, yes. I'm hoping to take advantage of your noteworthy efficiency as a killing machine. So, let us begin with the Sapaya, those wretched things that so bedeviled our arrival. If you could kill mm, 20 or so and collect their tea energy samples, I should be able to extrapolate a purity index through vertical analysis of the... Kill 20 acrid, bring you the spill. That's the gig? All over it. Thanks, Let Doc. Let me update your map with the best place to look for them based on recent sightings and migration patterns. And if you'd kindly hold still, I'd like to equip a sniffer attachment to your suit's tank. It'll automatically gather samples of tea energy particulates in the air after you've made a kill, so you can just focus on the killing. <sighs> Such pitiable incuriosity.
Jimmy. The science team cooked up a de-icing spray so your rig doesn't freeze with every bad storm. Commencing anti-icing procedures. The spray ensures your rig won't freeze in place the second you step outside, but its protection is limited to storms rated right below Cardinal class. Copy? Anything beyond that? No guarantees. <laughs> Hey baby, quick message, and um, not to worry you, but apparently I am slipping quietly out of my mind. Today I spent the better part of 20 minutes looking for a hat that I was wearing. <laughs> this week I found my keys in the door on the outside, of course, my slippers in the shower, and my toothbrush in the refrigerator. Because you know how important dental hygiene is to produce. Seriously, what is happening? Unless the little man is telekinetic and evil, moving objects around with his mind just in order to drive me crazy, then your wife has become mentally unbalanced. So, that's good news, right? <laughs> yeah. I got things totally under control. <laughs> I don't know. Kisses. Hey, baby. Quick message, and, um, not to worry you, but apparently... I am slipping quietly out of my mind. Today, I spent the...